is Sheree, what's up? Back with another video. I am bringing you a moisturizing wash day for the cold fall winter season. It is getting nippy outside, there's a chill in the air, and we don't want our hair to be dry and brittle and crusty. So we need to make sure we're using moisturizing products. And I am bringing y'all a super moisturizing line from the cleanser to the stylers bomb amazing this is the first time ever i'm going to recommend every single product in the line i have never done that in my channel i have like 400 videos on my youtube channel i have never recommended the entire line it's five products in the line and you need all of them what product line i'm talking about i'm talking about the kinky tresses product line and their entire wash day bundle sets like all the things okay i actually talked about kinky tresses before my channel i tried it for the first time last year when i reviewed caribbean woman owned products if you haven't seen that video definitely check it out right here and i raved about the butter i talked about how amazing it was i honestly still feel that way then recently i tried the shampoo and I fell in love with it. I came on and I raved about it. Kinky Tresses has reached out to me for a sponsored video right after I had tried the shampoo and before I even shared my shampoo review on this channel. So shout out to Kinky Tresses for sponsoring your girl and keeping the lights on because I raved about them before my channel for free. And y'all know regardless, I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it 100. What I like about Kinky Tresses is that the owner is like me. She's a former YouTuber. She will post no more. If you are OG, her name is Kinky Curly Top, or it was, but her real name is Shauna Moses. Not only was Shauna Moses coming on here and telling us how to stop thinning and crown breakage and all that, but Sis actually has a science background. Kinky Tresses came out of her knowledge and science background. And also because at the time, back in the day, like five or six, seven years ago, Nothing like Kinky Tresses really existed for us. There were so few product lines on the market. And I know that's hard to believe <laughs> if you are new natural, but for our, for the OGs, we know. Like seven, eight years ago, there was nothing for type four hair. We were making it do sort of with some Tresemme Naturals and some herbal essences, but we didn't have something that was made for us and by us. And that's why Shauna decided to make kinky tresses and I love that for us. Shauna was like bump that. I'm gonna create something that keeps the hair nice, moisturized and juicy while also sealing the hair and trapping the moisture in to retain length. And who don't want that, right? All right, that's enough non-talking. I'm just really proud of Shauna. I'm proud of the OG kinky curly top for just making this line and making it for us. So let me tell you why I think you need the entire line, okay? Because you need it. Start off this wash there with a pre poo I don't care what products I use, I have to use a pre poo That is just what works best for my hair. Unfortunately, Kinky Tresses, at least not right now, does not have a pre poo in their line. So I did go in with my own pre poo You can see me rinsing the pre poo out. It was a delightful pre poo situation. Love that for me. Then I went in with their shampoo. This is their avocado infusion sulfate free moisturizing shampoo. Y'all know I don't bang with shampoo. I've talked about that a lot on my channel. But I love this shampoo. I love this shampoo. This shampoo cleans your hair, but it doesn't leave it feeling like, what do I always say? Like, hey, it feels almost like a co wash. Like, when I first applied this for the very first time, I was like, no way. No way this is a shampoo. The moisture on this baby. The moisture on this baby. Honey, if you are like me and you don't like shampoos, you don't bang with shampoos, you find that shampoos dry your hair out, make your hair feel dry and brittle, and it just zaps the softness away, you need to get this. The packaging says it cleans hair and scalp without stripping away natural oils, moisturizes as it cleans. And y'all know labels be lying, but not her, not her. You need this 
product. I don't want to go into the depths of ingredients because I know most of y'all don't care. But just know the ingredients are bomb. No sulfates, no parabens, no mineral oil, no phylates, all that stuff we stay away from. Ain't got none of that. So freaking good. I will go out on a limb to say this is my favorite, 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 favorite shampoo, period. I... I do talk about, I have talked about some shampoos on my channel that I do love, not many. Because y'all know I don't bang with shampoo like that. But I would still say this is the best. The top shampoo of 2021 and the top shampoo of life. This is so freaking good. I did allow my hair to dry down. That is my preference. I like making my hair dry down for about 45 minutes to an hour. Then I went in with their restorative conditioner, which is supposed to moisturize nourish and strengthen also for dry and brittle hair you sense a theme with these products they're all formulated to keep the dryness and brittleness at bay love that for me <laughs> because sis be dry rough and tough off the bat i'm gonna let you know that it's not a moisturizing deep conditioner it's going to be more of your moisture strength balancing conditioner but more so on the moisture side. <laughs> so there is a shot of protein, there is some protein. When you get to the bottom of the ingredient list, it's hydrolyzed Greek protein and silk amino acids. And you can feel it like a little bit in the hair, but it's definitely not a protein treatment just because it has protein. And I won't say that it's a super strengthening product, it just makes your hair feel good. <laughs> it makes your hair feel good. I apply this with my rice water. That is my preference nowadays. And my hair, upon application, I was like, wow, I don't want to have to apply heat or have to sell my unborn child for my hair to feel good. This made my hair feel good upon application. There's avocado oil in it, there's mango seed butter, there's a bunch of extracts that are great for the hair like yarrow, horsetail, nettle, lavender. All of these things help to promote hair growth and left retention. I'm gonna be honest, when I first saw this product and I saw the consistency, I didn't think I would like it. Because I don't like super duper thick deep conditioners, I was like, mm, well, at least I like the shampoo and the butter, but I actually do love it. I do wish that it was a bit more on the thinner side. That is just what I prefer for my natural hair. That is my preference. But if you thrive on deep conditioners or you thrive on thick deep conditioners, Highly, highly recommend this one. It adds great moisture to the hair while also giving the hair a nice bit of strength, keeping your hair nice and balanced. Don't be afraid of the protein. Protein is not an enemy. Protein is our friend. Our hair is made mostly of protein. I highly recommend this one. The application, the rinse out, all of that was lovely. Tops, so good. If I had to choose like top 20 deep conditioners, she would be there absolutely after applying the deep conditioner i allowed my hair to dry down again then i went in with a leave-in i don't have the kinky tresses leave-in i've already used it up so i did go in with a random leave-in that i had and honestly i did not love it we're gonna talk about that in another video but yes i don't have the kinky tresses leave-in honestly it's not a favorite i have used it before on my channel too like i've actually used a lot of products i did use that leave it in another video you can check it out and even though it does apply beautifully even though it does have good slip even though it does make my hair feel moisturized I prefer applying leave-ins on damp or dry hair like I said and for me applying it that way just isn't the best for the product for my hair because it's just a bit too thick for my hair personally and the way I apply products but I still know it's a great leave-in because on application chef's kiss it just didn't have the lasting moisture because the moisture wasn't able to penetrate well into my hair if that makes sense if you like those thick and creamy leave-ins i would definitely recommend it also because the definition from that leave-in alone is top tier after applying the leave-in i did go in with the butter and the oil as my lco method the butter as my cream and my oil as my oil and i just twisted my hair up into 17 twists 
that may be a lot for some of you that may be a little for some of you but either way we're not working hard but let's talk about the oil right quick because I've talked about the butter before and the oil definitely needs a special mention. There's a lot of oils in the market that I don't like. There's a specific oil that a lot of people like by another YouTuber everyone raves about. That's too lightweight for me. That oil, I ended up using often like my DIYs, but that oil was too light for me. If you like light oils, you, you gotta stay away from this. You gotta stay away from this. But if you like a thick, rich emollient oil that makes your hair feel like a butter she is the one for you for me at my house we still seal in our hair with an oil or a grease this oil is one of the best oils i've ever used for sealing in my hair first ingredient is olive oil the second ingredient is broccoli seed oil i think this is the first time or the second time ever in my life that I've seen broccoli seed oil in a product and to be the second ingredient there's a good bit of it and broccoli seed oil is not a cheap oil y'all know people like to put soybean oil and cheap oils in their products quality oils this feels so rich it feels so so luxurious I freaking love this and last but by no means least is their hair butter which is just so freaking amazing so freaking good love this stuff so freaking much y'all like oh i have used this now four times i'm almost at the bottom of it because you know heavy-handed ting the only reason i still even have this left is because y'all know i have a huge stash i'm trying to work down my stash I've been trying to use other products, other creams and butters and stuff that I've had way longer than I've had this, but I really regret. <laughs> I was like, after trying it again, I was like, bro, you've been without this for this long? So freaking good. Smells delicious. Smells like cake. I would say that the oil and the butter smell like cake while the other products have a more softer, florally scent. Oh, you smell good, man. Oh my God, my baby look good. Oh, shit. And what I like about this butter is that it doesn't feel like a butter. Even though it's called a butter, it's more of a cream, a thick, nice, and luxurious cream. The first ingredient is water, so it's a moisturizer. It's not just a sealant. After I twisted my hair up with the products, I did leave my twist in for four days because sis was lazy and she didn't feel like taking her twist down and this is the end results y'all a nice fluffy twist out Ow! <laughs> for me this butter is not the type of butter i would ever use as a true styler i think this is more of a moisturizer hence i got more of a fluffy twist out if you want something with more holes I don't think it's enough at least for me it's not enough I prefer layering this with a foam definitely recommend it as one of the most moisturizing products I've ever used period so freaking good like honestly this product is so freaking good and quite realistically the entire line is so good I have never ever recommended an entire line ever I recommend you pick up this product line immediately you can use my code BCLH15 to save 15% off because you need everything absolutely everything if I had to narrow it down because I know some of y'all have a lot of products like I do and you like six I don't need five products I would recommend the butter and the shampoo I can't choose you need both if nothing else, you need the butter and the shampoo. These are just tops, tops, tops. Like, awesome. If I had to recommend anything else, it would be, I think the oil and the conditioner are pretty, are pretty even. Probably the oil just a little bit more just because I love how this feels on my hair. It just makes my hair feel so good. Ooh, mixing them together. That would probably be amazing. So these are probably neck to neck too. And of course the milk would be something I would least likely recommend. 
not because it's bad, just because I find things that I like better for the way I style my hair and my hair type and profile, but you need them. You need to try them. You need these products in your life. Honestly, I completely mean it. Sponsored or not, y'all know I don't get on here and get excited and fake for y'all. These products are bomb, but that is my entire wash day. That has been my experience with Kinky Tresses. Whew! I've said enough. I've said enough. But that's it, guys. This is my review. Y'all have been asking for a Kinky Tresses review probably for the last two years now. Here it is. It is Sheree Del Sol approved. You know that takes a lot of work to be approved by me, and these products really impressed me, and I honestly mean that. But that's it. Talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all soon. Peace. Bye, y'all.